Let's see how that goes. Seems to be going. Maybe? There it is. I see Ziggy on Twitch. Roy's here. I guess that might mean Allie's here as well. Ambrose, good morning as always. It is always morning. It makes it a lot easier to address with the proper salutation. If you just say it's always morning, it's always morning. And that's the bottom line. If you smell. All right. A bit of a surprise. I figured I'd come out again on my hobbly foot and just uh, just see what happens. Let's run this thing into the ground, shall we? That's right, we start, we're off. Bam! Emerald Lagasse, bam! Let's do it. Big as a walk, Sean. Murphy, Denise, Abby. Hello. Um, sometimes I look at, like, Do NYC just to see if there's anything interesting happening. But I don't know that there's anything new for us to check out during this stream. We are a little bit limited in our Fridays. Clock is ticking. So I'm just looking and looking. A lot of jazz stuff. No cars. There's a swamp of light. I don't know who goes to this thing anymore, but it looks like they drained a lot of this swamp. Although nature's definitely still taking over. I see those goose looking things still goosing in there. All right, anyway. Tech guy, hello to Bailey. Hi, Bertie T. Hello, TH. Hi. Yeah, a leisurely amble. Let's see if we can hit some hot spots of human activity. Roadway moving. Not as commonly seen these days as piece of cake moving. They seem to be the number one, just based on my uh, anecdotal data of when I see them. So buy their stock, that's how you do it. That's right, Ambrose. A completely apolitical swamp here. Drain the swamp to build a casino. No, no, no. Figments, hello. What's for dinner tonight? That's a good question. And if you have suggestions, I will take them into consideration. 20 Dragonfly Andrea, hello. I will consider every option. Thank you. Uh, hmm. Tudor City on my left. I think the gym might be in this building. Like on the second floor there. If I remember correctly. Hmm. Cynthia, Shelly, and Anthony. Shelly and Anthony. We will get answers one day from you. Homemade pizza with your favorite... Where, where's uh, GPT get its options from? I'm going to do a homemade pizza when I got access to pizza of New York City. Although Mrs. Commuter does make a pretty good homemade pizza. Didn't we walk by Pier 59 
like one stream ago or something. I feel like we just did that. Uh, let's cross first. Actually, I wonder. Let's go over there. Right, Roy? Right? At one point they said it was one of their birthdays. They never clarified who. And somebody else on the stream mentioned their birthday happened also like a month ago. And then we don't hear from them much other than saying hi every once in a while. So I don't know. All right, are, are you guys a little bit slanted? Is there something going on with my gimbal? Or is it the road? It might be the road. Uh, let me know. The strawberry fields, it is good to see you. LaPointe, welcome back. This is Ambrose's birthday year. Well, happy birthday this year, but not any other year. Uh, the piece of Titanic history at uh, Pier 59. Isn't that, uh, wait, was that around the place we're supposed to dock? Yeah, I don't know. Are we actually slanted? I can't even tell. I'm looking at the uh, thing and I don't know if it's just the shape of the street or if we're actually slanted. I don't know. It looks okay for me looking top down into the... Anyway. Yes, you're probably right, Strawberry Fields. You're probably right. Liver and onions. No cake for you. No. I wonder if the garden is open. And can you get in from this way? No, you gotta enter the gallery on 43rd Street. Oh, it's probably just faster to go to 2nd Avenue and go around. But I thought the garden was supposed to be open again. I see people in there, so maybe we can go around and ask. Ziggy on Twitch has overanalyzed things. And is no longer confident about even their name. Abby had fish and chips for dinner. That sounds good. I've been meaning to try out that um, Gordon Ramsay fish and chips place. But I think they still don't have takeout or, de or delivery or something. Even with like a third party service. I think you can only order to, t to stay in too. At least it was like that when I first checked it about it. Anybody else know? Microwave fudge darling on Twitch, hello. Asif is in the middle of the night, should be sleeping. Photos from New York is here. I also knew somebody who worked at the Ford Foundation. Or for them, but not with them, or against them. Bear in the garden, couldn't get a notification. YouTube's burying us. The weather in Dallas has been fixed. Nice. Assault and battery I heard of. There's also something called the chippery around there too. So I don't know. Like, are the people standing in the suits outside of it, are they uh, the security or... Oh, do we have to go through like a tent to get checked out? Hi, to, for the garden we go through there. All right, thank you. Oh, uh, back. I don't know if they're gonna let me go with my all my recording stuff. Hi. I have a bunch of like camera stuff in my bag. Is that okay? The okay. thing with the cameras is, um, I don't think they're gonna like that. They're not gonna like that. Yeah, all right. Yeah, okay. That's all right. Thanks. They think they're not going to like my um, my little neck camera. <laughs> oh well, put it away in the beginning. I mean, it, it, this place is like highly uh, patrolled. I don't know. 
So I'm pretty sure I wouldn't get very far if I started like digging through my camera bag and pulling everything out again. That's why he's working the front. <laughs> One day they'll let him sit down. Remember that, that Seinfeld episode when George Costanza got the security guard like a rocking chair and then he fell asleep? Lucy Wallace in the UK, hello. So maybe one day we'll go in there without the, the full gear and then just um, record some things. At least they're open, but I don't know if it's always been such heightened security. I think I've been in there once before with Mrs. Commuter and we just walked in the front door, the revolving door, and went right, right in. So I don't know, I don't know what's up with the high, are we crooked or not? Is this, this is really weird. I, could, I see it now, too. All right. Uh, Paul Little, hello. We want actual answers. Ah, yeah, I know. I don't want to cause trouble, though. All right. Maybe we can use this Pfizer sign to see if it's actually crooked or not. Um, all right. Is this crooked? RJ, hello. That was the Ford Foundation. We were trying to check out the garden. I'm waiting for it to catch up. Yeah, it doesn't look crooked. I think it's straight. Yeah, I think we're okay. Okay. Oh, the chippery closed? Oh, whoops. I guess I haven't ordered from them in a while. Man, they were a good winter order. order um, Few years ago. Oh well. I know one of the questions at work is who's they? But I think in this one I can um I can anticipate it's probably the higher level security guard. You know like I, how if you're playing a game and the higher level folks are a little more inside the building. Maybe that's who he's referring to. I don't know. He's a young kid. I don't want him like have him go through all this trouble for some weird guy. Maybe if I had my press pass, he wouldn't be as concerned. But then again, sometimes these other these buildings consider press concerning too. Like, what what are they investigating in our building? I don't know. Anyway, I'm the most honest, dishonest person you'll ever meet. Hey, is Pfizer itself crooked? I don't know. I know people make Big Pharma out to be some kind of monsters or whatever. I don't know if it's that, that bad. But, but maybe it's, that's because I wouldn't mind working for them if they would pay me a ton of money. <laughs> oh, my toe. That was a bad idea. All right, we made it, we made it. Oh, maybe Google reviews is incorrect? Who knows? If they're available on Seamless, that's usually my way of checking. Although, although I have ordered from a completely shut down place on Seamless before too. They never turned off the ordering system. And I don't know if they just think people won't reach out to Seamless to like cancel an order or something. But it was a little bit annoying to have to deal with because you got to go to like Seamless chat. Then they have to like try calling the place a few times. And then once they feel it's satisfied they're not gonna actually make and deliver any food then yeah it's like the guy it's like that fork in the road riddle is that what you would call that you, you reach two guys and one of them is always telling the truth one of them is always lying or whatever is that the uh what's on my finger yeah what is that ew Whoa, 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 why is there like dookie on my finger? Hold on. What is this? It's like... I didn't touch anything. This is odd. Anyway. As clean as I'll get it for now. Weird though. Yeah, not so seamless, right? Do we... Do we bother going through the market anymore? Or do we just go around? Any uh, people want to go through Grand Central or just go around? 
let me know. Just walk into the Pfizer building, give them a strong handshake. Do I tell that to the security? I want to shake the boss's hand right now. People simply saying around. So I feel saying Grand Central always. All right, so you have one and one, two and one, two for Central, one for not. I don't know. I didn't feel anything drop on me though, so I don't know what that was. It's weird. Three for Central. Okay, and the lights in our favor, so. We're just gonna do that. Four for Central, okay. Well, we're making our way then. No one behind me, no. Okay, all right, back in the market. And I think it did to me, Strawberry Fields. I think it did to me. All right, what are we looking at here? Pies? Actually, those pies look pretty good. Lilac chocolates. Pescatore sushi. I wonder how these are. Let me see how they have, like, chirashi bowls, too. Hmm. Yeah, $14.99. It's not too bad. The fish is very thinly sliced, though, is the one I see. And they have a little, um, what is that, Tamago, I think? Same cookie since 2001. Mm. D'Artagnan prosciutto. Some cheese. That's Murray's, yeah, it is Murray's. I wonder if they have Manuri. They're one of the only places that has it. Manuri cheese. Hot pies. The cheese smell is stronger now. Farm to table. I would say farm to Grand Central. The Selka is downstairs, I believe, and it's like a it's just a little to-go hole. I bet we've seen these guitars before. Purple wants some queso. Hudson News. Every transit place. This is Jack Marcin. He's on all sorts of uh, social media. Gatsby musical, anyone seen it? Gotta run for their train. Swanky likes a shot. I heard. I heard. It's great. Congrats. So we'll see you here before the summer in the States. You'll be going from like what, one summer to the next? Isn't there like a way to. Transit Museum is there. I think that's one of the hallways. Station master office and waiting area. Yeah, I had to go to this Transit Museum to buy an umbrella before. I mean, I'm sure I could have found one somewhere else, but... We go 
towards the one Vanderbilt building through here. Here's Joji. I like that sushi spot. Uh, they look open and closed at the same time. It's like dark and there's nobody in there, but I don't know. Anyway, they've connected. Uh, they've connected everything underground from Grand Central to One Vanderbilt. Jostine, what's the um, what's the reason for your question? What are you trying to insinuate? Grant has all the umbrella shopping at transit museums. Yeah, overpriced, underpowered umbrellas. It's fine. Actually, I think I have theirs right now in my back. I wanted a small one to stuff into my backpack in case it did start raining later. Just in case. Ron is here. Shaquille enjoyed. Glad you did. Oh, that building's really coming along. Kevin Park and the coffee farts are back. It got much warmer again today, so I I changed down to shorts. We don't really have a specific heading, just the time limit. No cars, so I'll just cross over. Seems less busy on the other side. Although everyone else seems to be going there too now. <laughs> NYC bubbles, hello. I guess Berkeley College is here. Leather shorts and rubber shorts at the same time, yes. Equinox. Forgot they had a location here. North Face. We don't talk about North Face anymore. You want to see my shorts? They're just very standard cargo shorts because I like pockets. Oh. They're selling the merchandise. Merchandise. It's Fifth Avenue at this time. As you can see, it's pretty busy. And I think it does have quite a bit of uh, tourist traffic. I'm trying to make my way around. The smokers. Too cold for shorts. I don't think so. I'm out there in it right now. And I would say, no, it is not too cold for shorts. A diplomat can do whatever he wants. If they got diplomat plates, you can do whatever you want. It's a rule. I don't even know what that means for them to be a diplomat, but they can do it. They got the plates. Justine, hello. Marty, hello. I don't think we ever decided what I should eat for dinner later. Can brand, hello. What? Lids, NBA store. I remember the NBA store was like closed for a while and didn't reopen that quickly after the uh, grand reopening of things post-pandemic, but it's open now. Yeah, that's the one thing I'm missing from my uh, Batman tool belt. I got the press pass, all my dongles, and I need a diplomat plate. Close to New York says Indian. I don't know why somebody yelled hello directly into the back of my head. I'm 
to follow the lights, left or right. It goes, no, straight, not even left or right. We're going directly forward. Yeah, I don't know like where to walk because everyone's just walking in the middle. Like they're not leaving a space to walk anywhere. Otherwise I want to walk on the right, you know? There we go. Yeah, I might want to do it. I haven't had Indian in a little while now. I know we had it a lot maybe end of last week, but... That's right, it keeps things juiced up. Strawberry fields. I also gotta get synthol for my, my biceps. That's the next step. Hmm. Oh. There's only one car waiting. Nobody else. Right by JP Morgan Chase again. Oh, I don't know about that music. It sounds like it could be copyright. Let's get behind this building. There we go. Pad Thai, huh? It's also not bad. Although I would get drunken noodles, I think. Bagels and walks, bagels and walks. Do, 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 do. If I got out a little bit earlier, we could have walked over to the conservatory garden. Bagels and walks, Sean said, it's looking pretty, pretty nice, mighty fine. That's all right. Photo sent you doesn't think I should use synthol? But it's so safe and so effective and makes you so much stronger. Uh, none of these are true, by the way. Do I have, did I like, let me see this. No, it's fine, all right. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. And Carberry Enthusiasm's over. But apart from like Larry David saying he doesn't feel a man pushing his 80s can act the way he does and make it seem believable, he still seems like he's, you know, in pretty good shape. I think he should, hopefully he'll still produce something. Exciting. Swine Kill X is all synthol. Well, I don't know, you're synthol and you're able to move all those weights, it's impressive. Nova Rain is having teriyaki chicken and broccoli. Good, good sound. Wait, an office tower in St. Louis was sold for only 3.6 million, Nate? I don't know what the story is back there, but it sounds like there might be something. Wow. Right by uh, Pedicab Central. Rockefeller Center. Sacks on my right, someone's coughing in my back. Wonderful. Oh man. This, this is no good. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing all this stuff? Copyrighted in your face. All right. There's nowhere to go for these cars. We could just go, but I also kind of don't want them to completely block out. Ah, well, they kind of did it to themselves. They shouldn't have. Uh, they shouldn't have gone across the road if they knew it wasn't going to be enough room. They got eyes, don't they? Yeah, you can hear YMCA. That means YouTube can hear it. That's no good. Middle's probably still closed with the plexiglass, but the main doors are open. They want you to come in from the side. It's the St. Patrick's. It's kind of cool, you can see the reflection of, uh, of Atlas, who's right behind me. Eden Gallery, opening spring 2024. 
apparently, Big Zwalk Sean sent me a news article that they will be reopening the vessel this summer. They're going to put up a bunch of mesh, it sounds like. And they claim the mesh cannot be cut by uh, visitors. We'll see. This is the longest shorts in Manhattan. I didn't, I, I didn't pull out my short shorts today. My light's changing. You can see me in the uh, reflection there. Yeah, it should be reopened by the summer, or so they claim. We'll see just how meshy it is. Are they still going to have that annoying ticketing system where you have to, like, buy them online in advance? Or can you actually just walk around it whenever you want now? By appointment line? My goodness. They should put trampolines underneath the vessel. Yes. I zoomed across. Nobody can stop me. stuff. St. Thomas Church on the left. That didn't sound so good. I didn't realize how deep St. Thomas Church actually goes. If you only like pay attention to the front, but then it goes like half the block down. Photos has never climbed a vessel. You never got a photo from around, around New York from the vessel? That didn't seem right. Microsoft. Oh, they only have, they also have, oh. They have like a Dune flight simulator on the second floor too. Same place they have that um, like McLaren driving sim. Grant, live streaming from New York is like an interesting uh -huh. effect on streaming and like viewership it's it's like you get viewers easily kind of compared to like gaming streams which are actually pretty hard to generate viewership so i don't know canada goose How do the crossing signs work in America? Well, at least in New York, we kind of let the traffic dictate what we do. If we have a red light and there's no cars and we're not going to get hurt or get in the way of traffic, we'll, we'll just cross. Welcome, Grant. Welcome. We're always happy to have you. And I think the 331,000 sub-channel, they'll be just fine. <laughs> they'll be just fine. Time is at 4.51. Mm -hmm. Let's cross left. Mama! Yeah, and, uh, David, he goes between. Between the two. Oh, the taxi's turning. Ah, the car behind him was very eager beaver, though. Although this taxi, I think we can get... Nah, now we can go. There we go. Uh-oh. I hope they realize traffic just kicked up again. They don't seem to care. That's what you don't want to do. That's what you don't want to do.
Especially when it's like a bus lane, you know. You don't want to fight a bus. You'll, you'll lose most of the time. I don't want to say every time, you know, because you know you always got to leave some some room, right? I like being a New Yorker, but again, I always I, I don't like gain pride from where I was born or where I live because that's just you know it's just a thing. I guess I can control where I live, but you know. It is what it is. Allie. Hello. One fifty-seven. Wing cross. Miss VBK from Norway. Hello. What you doing, TLC? What you doing, TLC? Ah, thank you, Perp. Yeah, like, you know, as I gain age, I try to, uh... All right, we'll go this way. Why not? They're still trying to non-Spotify this. Yeah, what, wasn't, uh... Tom's original channel name... Like Wall Street Skate Bro or something. So he knows how to ride. Which man, Squid Party? If the party's at your house, that's where we're going. Lights have gone red for the cast. Twenty four seven Apple Store, right over there. Plaza Hotel, right over there. All right, Central Park. I feel like we gotta, you know, we gotta not overdo Central Park a little bit. You know, I gotta, I gotta think about this. Do we just walk up Central Park South or do we actually go in the park and go uh, down and around a little bit? Maybe, Allie, maybe. Where's the closest Walmart? Not within New York City limits. Hmm. I don't know. As a cop pulling out. Oh, that guy's crossing the street whenever he crosses. I don't know. With us till the end. Go through. I'll cut through Secaucus. Five minutes till the Delacour clock. Hmm. Hmm. Might be cutting it close. Interactive art installation at Lincoln Center. Man, I wonder if I could do all that. You gotta check yourself before you wreck yourself, you know? Well, they actually got nowhere to go. It's a complete red light at Fifth Avenue. So even though this light is red, there's nowhere for anybody else to go. That's right, Jostein Topland. Tom Delgado on the skateboards on untapped comedy bit. He's a lawyer, you know? You got the scoopski, I got potato. Scoopski, potato, scoopski, potatoes. Well, when congestion pricing hits, we'll see if there's an actual impact to the congestion of vehicular whatever. That's right, I'm very anticlimactic there. All right, right behind this bike we'll go. And that's it. Now we got like three minutes to get to the park. Aha, Allie remembers Joe Gatto. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't watched it at all since he left. Is it still... I mean, I'm sure it's still funny. But I don't know if it's... 
Oh, oh, oh. Immediate metallics. We're probably switching, um, switching towers here as we get into the park. You only saw it once since you left? Ah. Would that be considered jaywalking? Yeah, yeah. We're okay, we're not in a, uh, we only got two minutes left. I'm not at my fastest at the moment. That's how I run too. Our route best in Moscow, hello again. That tree over there has completely dropped all its petals. Well, almost. But you can see all the litter on the ground. I think usually the clock is like a minute or two late compared to cell phone time. I do, Justine. Or I pretend to. <laughs> Every Jedi is now an enemy of the Republic. Yeah, there's like multiple things I've read about jaywalking in New York City. Someone said that it's a, a, a law here, but not enforced. But if you start digging into it, you find forums that say it's not an actual law. So I don't know. All I know is you're not going to get in any trouble if you cross on a red light as long as you're not causing disruption. Like you could, if there's nothing happening, you can cross right in front of a cop. I can pretty much guarantee you nothing will happen. Do I have time for hobbies? I mean, I tend to do this a lot in my freer time. And then when I wake up at the crack of dawn on a non-working day, that's when I have time to do some of the stuff that I like to do. Like video games and such. We measured 6.5% slower as of this morning, yes. One toe is 6.5%. Well, they haven't started moving yet. And it's at five o'clock on my phone. My hobbies are wearing shorts, yes. The sea lion enclosure is quiet. Oh, there it is. I'd say the time is pretty good. I wrote, it's getting a little, it's getting a little too much now. I mean, I, I never, I never uh, go that far with nationalism. David, you know, it depends on the day. I would say on average four to five. So they're gonna ding five times or 17 times? You can actually hear the little hammer from the monkey. That's not the, the one that's making the sound. I think they start now, right? Yeah. Well, that's not, that's why you have to count the average, David.
tunes those things. Um, I wonder how loud it is for those apartments there. Biggs and Walk, Sean, you're, you're like third residence is one of those overlooking the park apartments there, right? How, how loud is it for you in there when you're, when you're staying? So much. All right, I gotta. We gotta make our way west, and then south. South by southwest. Glad y'all enjoyed. Remember, we learned a lesson about what happens to the pretzels before they're served from these uh, carts. Now, you see they have that A food rating on the side, the sanitation rating. Do we, do we need to send that video to sanitation? Whoever, I don't know, who, who, who gives out these ratings? I don't even know. Big smoke, Sean. Dean Slope. Oh, oh, God. Some birds making weird noises in there. Maybe we can walk up if they're open. The, the actual hill up on Dean Slope might be open. If it is, maybe that's what we'll take to go up there. Uh, photos from New York. Check my last reel on either Instagram or um, TikTok. Yeah, I think we can walk up. Let's do that. Let's go up the slope. Dean Slope. Probably true, Colonel Potter. On Twitch, Colonel Potter was saying people born these days will probably never have a callus from using a writing utensil on their fingers. Larissa Dobrevich is saying good evening. Saying it's two at night over there. Oof, get some sleep. D Baby says the only thing I'm missing is a doggy to walk with me. Yeah, maybe one day. I feel like I'd be doing a disservice to the dog if I had a dog. You know, I, you know, I gotta give him that midday walk to be ideal. I don't know. Her PUE likes the daffodils. Probably the last chance to get photos of these trees. As they lose the remainder of their flowers. Huge Jackman posted a photo in front of the daffodils. Nice. Somebody singing or yelling? adapt themselves around your life, huh? All right, let's cross. That dog gets its own stroller. Has baby commuter asked for a pet yet? Uh, no. She also sees uh, grandma's dog a lot, so I guess that's nice. A uh, root best is actually Spartak. What is that? Your channel is for the advancement of one person? Interesting. Oh, I hear a lot of background music. The um, the the background tune is gonna is gonna cause trouble. Uh, Tibetan Spaniel. 
is the kind of dog grandma has. If it's the nuts that are very fragrant right now, that did not sound right. All right, guys, get your minds out of the gutter. I think it is the nuts, though. Well, that cherry blossom, right by the dairy, overlooking. Billionaire's Row. Purple had a Springer sp Spaniel. Ian Melillo. Hello. I'm all right. How are you? Um, yeah, let's go to the southwest corner of the park. Fragrant nuts and dongles only on the show. Get your noses ready. Because it's about to blow. All right, no, 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 no. Come on, guys. Family show. Family show. Hanging with Mr. Cooper. Doesn't suggest golden retrievers. I thought they were always considered like family dogs. Like a. The family dog. Oh, what kind of bird is that? Oh, what am I doing? If I want to go more west, I should probably just cross the street. I would jump it, but I don't want to upset my toe anymore. Carousel's over here. Her PV says that was a cardinal sound. The sound of cardinal. Eh. Jack Russell Terrier doesn't have any problems keeping up. Isn't that the dog from uh, Wishbone? Lawn is open. 9 a.m. sunset. Biggie 2 will be in New York in a month. From Germany. Welcome. Virtually. Hope you enjoy your trip in a month. And from Fraser. Ah. The celebrity is here. And that's me. No. <laughs> I should walk to Jamaica, Queens. That's going to be a long walk. If we ever have like a, a big day, maybe. But I feel like I'd rather start out from there and come back. Oh, this park's closed. Looks like a fun one for the kiddos. I don't see anybody on this side of it. There should be, is there like a, is there like a YouTube category called virtual travel? That's pretty much what this is, kind of is, right? You yeah, know, we're keeping a good pace. This is my leisurely pace. And these golf carts are making me nervous. They got mangoes at their fruit stand. They want to sell them to you now. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, my toe is actually okay right now. It's it's a little purple, like a dark purple, but you know. <laughs> you take what you get. 
Uh, we're out of the zoo now. We were there earlier. That's where we were listening to the clock, if you were here at that point in the stream. I bet these, these fences, it probably wouldn't be, like, noticeable to Swanky Wax or Sean. You'd probably walk right through it and not even know what happened. You just, it would just be normal. You just plow right through those fences. And that's it. I jammed it pretty good at home. Like, usually I'll walk pretty carefully. Well, you know, because if it's dark, I don't want to step on or kick any baby commuter's toys that might have not been put away. But this time I was walking in a place where I did not expect anything to be. And, uh, yeah. So with a lot of force, I slammed my toe. Oh, some nice flowers over there, too. Purple's gonna be RP. Lizzo, see, hello. How long would it take to walk the whole Central Park? All 843 acres? Uh, well, I guess it depends what you mean. If you were to, like, walk every road? I don't know. Because it's, it's, it's not possible to, like, step on every single part of the park, if that's what you mean. I've seen a video of an elephant, like, effortlessly push, 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 push down a tree. Like, just ripped it out of the ground, essentially. It's crazy how strong these animals are. And then, what, who, who said that in some like superhero movie? Look at all the work you have to do to have even a fraction of my strength or whatever. Like, it's, it's useless. You'll never be stronger than a gorilla. And, and all they have to do to look that way is just exist. <laughs> Amazing. All right, after this bike, Megs and Walk Sean reminds us there's a convenient six mile loop and the perimeter is also six miles. <laughs> yeah, it could take a long time to actually look at every single thing. You know, find the waterfalls, get lost in the ramble, go to the north woods. Oh man, those trees are like being highlighted by the little burst of sun that just peeked out. <laughs> Dyed red, I guess I didn't even notice. Oh, the bus lane, yeah, that, that, that usually is red. Oh, are you on, are you live right now? Because there's no buses in Central Park. You might be behind. There we go. Hmm. I guess we could walk down Broadway. Oh no, we should walk down, is that 8th Avenue? Oh man, the wind is pulling on my wire. It's messing with my necklace. Because the wind is like pulling open my vest and that pulls on the wire that comes from my backpack. If any of that makes sense. Noah's here. Eh. Maybe, Grant, I don't even know. What you doing? 
Why are you beeping? Three seconds to cross. There's, I'm assuming the cars are going to come from the loop over there. There we go. Well, it's been pretty cloudy most of the day. Now we got some sun. All right, this thing is pulling on my wire. It's getting pretty annoying. The wind. It might be Noah. I don't think I've been having any problems. I decided to take the N NFC loss on my phone to try to stop those weird service issues. So I let it update to the latest beta that I know is wonky. Oh well. I could still use my watch to pay if I really want to. Use NFC contactless payments. I believe NFC itself stands for Near Field Communication. Roy's our boy. Roy's our boy. Oh, is the Boston Marathon in like three days? Or whatever? Okay. Is Ambrose running it? Boston Marathon's Monday. April 15th, I saw it on some thing across the street over there. Man, this wind. It's like blowing at my vest, which pulls the wire. Why isn't Ambrose running it? I don't understand. Oh man, the creaking signs make me nervous in the high winds. But it is nice to see the sun back. Just look back. Just scan the back of my neck at your peril. Ugh, 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 ugh. Cover your face with holes, please. Could have made that, but actually that car is turning. If he's to be believed, you can never trust turn signals either, even though that's what they're there for, but you know. It's more likely that someone's not going to be showing a turn signal and then do something than the other way. Dave's hot chicken. Night, no, not chicken? Collie slider? Okay. <clears throat> Mike, hello, it was a good day. Hope yours was too. 5.22, and we're doing okay on time. Beta testers wanted for what? Spy games? Museum? Experience? Anyone been? Her preview likes cauliflower wings. I, mean, I guess you can't really call them wings, though, right? They just, they, should have, they should just come up with a different name for it so you're not surprised. Why am I seemingly always in a rush? I only have, like, two speeds, fast and faster. And it's actually pretty hard for me to walk slowly. Usually when cars are parked like that, it means it's a police station on the block. 
when they're parked at an angle onto the sidewalk. That's usually what that means. Hey, yep. P.F. Chang's to go. On the corner over there. Yeah, workday's done. But the legs never stop. And the sun is back. Oh, water's a dollar, but you can't buy any water if they're not actually open. We got lucky with Hamilton. We got in on a lottery. Right, let's go back to Broadway and then head into Times Square since we're already here. What's the reason, POV? For Brock, it's us. Dan, hello. Yeah, if you look at the evolutional history of humans and the teeth and whatnot, I guess it's uh, omnivores are the is what we seem to be. And now we have a choice, of course. We can do whatever we want. But I believe you do suffer nutritionally if you only eat vegetables, right? You're still missing out on things if you go like full vegan that you may require supplements. Anyway, I don't know. Do I pace around my house? No, actually when I'm home, you can find me in like three places at home, four places. Kitchen, toilet, bed, computer. Like if I'm actually just sitting on my own. If family or friends are over, oof, bad idea. You gotta look, you gotta look. See, that's what you shouldn't do when you cross on a red light. Uh, I don't know what you mean by agree to disagree. I, I do believe it is medically known that if you only eat uh, like vegan stuff, you are actually missing out on essential things. I think, I don't know. I would definitely check with, you know, a medical professional to make sure all your levels are okay if that is the case. That's all. The point is you can do whatever you want. This text is different, agrees, disagrees to agree. Nice, you spin it around. Galen, hello, are you driving a truck right now? If you are, do you live stream that stuff? Is there anybody that live streams like their, uh, their trucking route, route, route? Yeah, for sure there's a way to substitute. Yeah, so it's just like the same thing. You know, you could you could eat, like you don't have to eat, and you can just eat like, you know, cabbage and carrots and whatnot, but then yeah, you would just have to, have to supplement whatever. So I'm, I'm assuming when they make those meat substitute products, they may include those things. That makes sense. Does American Truck Simulator count? Kind of. Someone was streaming their road trip from Florida to NYC. Oh, you mean um, James Carlin Hudson? Let's get across while we can. Big Outdoor welcomes you to Times Square. Now, what is Big Outdoor? Is that just like another REI type store? Oh. 
Ooh, Big Rigs travels and uses a Starlink for the internet. Nice. Uh, for, for like a trucker, is, is the truck you're driving like your main truck? Like, is that the one you're like, I, I guess, I mean, assuming it's not your truck, but like, is that the truck you're going to be always assigned to? So like, could you like make yourself a little, a little nook inside that truck and it's going to be pretty much your nook because no one else is going to use that truck? I don't know how this stuff works. But first coffee, I'm not sure exactly what you're saying. Uh, animals can, but there's, those are designed to be herbivores, right? I think there's other, because of the way our bodies are designed, I do believe, you know, you have to make sure all your nutrients are accounted for. And I, I don't, and again, I, this, this is outside of my usual stuff, but I'll read up on it if, to just offer a better perspective if you want to next time. There are a lot of owner operators that own the rig. Interesting. Interesting. Big Outdoors, a privately held premier out of home media company focused on the development. Okay. Interesting. Not what I would have expected. Wolf Wolf is here, Howlin. Oh, Robert, I think might be behind. In the uh, in the live stream, but I guess I can't I can't tell him that because you won't hear me until later. They just own the big billboard, Krispy Kreme. Depends if you're long haul trucker or daily. Long hauls have the rigs assigned to them. It's their home away from home. Aha. Uh -huh. So dailies would, would just get whatever truck they get and come back to the same place or something. I got a thing, things always change, guidelines always change, so could, things could be different from when I, uh, I learn stuff too. That's the, that's the other thing. But because it's not like my area of expertise, I. I do need to read up on things. Anyway. Yeah, TH, somebody mentioned that last stream that Krispy Kreme signed a deal with McDonald's. I'm curious what that's gonna actually look like. But, uh, yeah. The answer is there are truckers that live stream their halls. Oh no, the music though, hold on. We can still make it across. All right, let me let me go noise suppression for a little bit until I pass by the pedicabs and maybe showtime, depending on what they're playing. If they're playing any music, they are playing something. I don't know that I've heard Showtime play that music before. Did, did they just like, did somebody just record the, the, the an air horn or whatever and just make it into a pitch? Oh my. Your open air tour bus had a bunch of music playing. I wonder if there's any comedy shows that I should check out. <laughs> All right, I got to keep this noise suppression on, I think. Oh, Alex, the trucker guy, okay, there's a few. Big Rig Travels usually has about a thousand folks currently. That's awesome. I got to check out some of these trucking streets. It's probably pretty relaxing to watch, like, and keep on in the background. More showtime. Yeah. 
Yeah, everyone always says, you know, watch out for the monks and the CD guys, but it's the minis you got to look out for, as Ali says. <laughs> Vernon, we try to be funny when we can. Man, it's King Kong suit as a fan. You see it? It's got a little fan grill. <laughs> We must go somewhere, but not here. At the moment, we will cross the streets. Okay, I think I can go off. Okay. Hulk and Spider-Man aren't as aggressive. Yeah, neither is the King Kong, you know, because they, they can't move that fast. Ah, uh, aggressive donations. Yes. They're jealous of Naked Cowboy. Yeah, I mean, if they could just learn a few chords in a guitar, they could probably do something similar. Not, not to, uh, <laughs> not to reduce. Yeah, it's not good. Cyclist was not safe. That's what you don't want to do. Viking, welcome back. Good to see you. Things are well. How are you? He doesn't push people around. Yes, no. He's very cordial. I think him and NYC walking show Cfot are like friendly with each other. <laughs> From what I've seen, they recognize each other. Stephen Chobers on Twitch. Because apparently Germany's been having trouble, having YouTube trouble. Well, at least Stefan has. Stefan, I think people from uh, are on uh, YouTube also today, having less trouble from Germany. So I don't know, but you did say you want to explore Twitch more and get get accustomed with its feature set. Deborah, we're almost out of it. You know, we're gonna stop by and see what the lawn situation looks like at Bryant Park. But I guess somebody could just always pull up their uh, Earth cam and tell us the answers. Who that Dave Mekuma monster? Nice, he's a nice guy. What is this awful-looking uh, collection of tables and chairs? All right, it's very utilitarian, I guess. B80 uh, for rock on Twitch. Hello. Yeah, they just ran by, Allie. I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're just excited. Uh oh, uh oh, the music. Okay, they're past. Oh, man, I got dripped on just now by something off that scaffolding. Man, I don't need that. At least it seems like clear liquid. I rubbed it off my head with my hand. Well, I can use that liquid to rub off whatever crap was on me before. All right. Anyone handing out free food samples? I'm sure we could have found some place that had them. Oh, I do want to keep an eye on what's going on with the Guy Fieri place here. And Planet Hollywood's coming back. That's big. That's big. Hollywood. Oh, did I actually get it? 
Yeah, I got it. All right. Uh oh, 360 camera. Liminal space. It's not like the space between. Ah. <laughs> Dave Liotta met Sea Fight at Bryant Park last year. Yeah, I'm almost at Bryant Park now. Do I own a car? No. I used to have one, but I have no need for a car at this point. And I am glad I don't have the expense. Uh, this Planet Hollywood's coming back. It says the planet's returning. Right next to the Guy Fieri restaurant. Why? I don't know. Let's ask the LA Beast. Only because he's, oh, the music, I hope it's not too loud. <laughs> Flavor Town. Wow, Waffles and Dinges has a line. Oh, do they have like a separate ordering line? No, they do. You have a kiosk and a regular line too. Muy interesante. Purple also sold the car. Nice. Lawn is not open yet. It doesn't look like. Oh, some people are suspiciously, suspiciously close to it. They can't be on it, though. They'll be kicked off pretty fast if it's not open. <laughs> Which one big was in walk, Sean? I missed it. I secretly want a Jeep Frank to tank. Yeah, I don't mind a Jeep. I, I, ever since we randomly got one as a rental in Chicago, I've enjoyed them very much, Jeep Wranglers. Bagel zoom walks. Bagel zoom walks. Bagels and walks. Okay. I don't know why that's become your theme set to Kit Kat Bar. Anyway, looking out at the lawn now, it said its new sod is establishing its roots. That's what the little signs say. So, we got that. Is anyone still playing Pokemon Go? Doesn't, isn't this like one of the raid sites or something? Chicken 65 is always good, right? All right, that's enough. What have I missed? Victoria Morrison, Moon Toads. That's why we're watching the grass grow, monetize Aubrey on kick. Steve O's single and owns three cars. I hope you can drive them all at the same time. Anti-disestablishmentarianism? Almost. They build a big platform up here, and then they build out the rink and everything else. The Pokemon go to the library. Jay Leno owns more cars than Seinfeld, says Steve-O. Seinfeld's got a lot of cars, too.
Stefan says uh, Twitch is just overcomplicated, overly complex, and YouTube does a little easier. Yeah, I think Twitch has a lot of features. Crap. Uh, that carousel is spinning. Wait, how come then your, your link? I'm trying to press your link and like got back. Oh, it says page not found. Really? Oh, that's right. I can't actually click links from here in that little stream buddy app. They all get cut off, which is interesting. I think there's more adults than kids right now on the carousel from what I saw. I guess we're closest to 40th Street now on my right. We're kind of in between 41st and 40th at the moment. Never eaten at Bryant Park Grill. Wait, someone just told me Jekyll and Hyde is open again? Biggest walk, Sean? Well, I can't remember the Twitch password. Have you ever heard of this little feature? Some, some websites have it. It's like a... Um, it's usually right under the login thing and says like, forgot my password or something. I'm being such an ass, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Taxi has gone very slow. I probably could have crossed. Biggs and Walk Sean has not heard of Jekyll and Hyde coming back. Something about tax crimes. All right. Bigger truck is coming now. I'm not playing. Any chicken with a truck. New York City Transit Super Truck. Narelle's getting breakfast. What are you eating? They make it a good one. It's your last Australian breakfast. Let's cross over. Look for bikes from both sides because you never know. The OG Jekyll and Hyde in Midtown sells antiques. Yeah, that was like right on, was that 6th or 5th Avenue in the 50s? And then there was that one on like, I don't know, 8th Street or whatever. Let me see this. Jekyll. Jekyll and Hyde coming back. NYC restaurant. Their website is still open, but I don't know. Between West 4th Street and Barrow Street? Jekyll and Hyde Club? Is this, like, new, or is this just a, a website that never shut down? Anyone? Bueller? Purple seven sausage and eggs. All right. Thanks to this taxi, we're having a much better experience of crossing the street. And Lord and Taylor building owned by Amazon now. Lynn and Graham, hello. David Randall's back. Hello, hello. It's gotta if if it's coming back, it's probably somebody else then, not the not the same owner. Yeah, my friend said they're open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday only. I don't know what that means. Yeah. 
Peter Johnson. I haven't seen that name in a while. Thank you for the 269 Swedish Krona. Appreciate it. Krona, Krona, Krona. Welcome back, Peter. And thank you for the support. Oh, Noah's behind 30 seconds. I don't know. We got to do more research on this Jekyll and Hyde thing. And then we got to spend one day where we only go to Hard Rock, WWE New York, <laughs> Jekyll and Hyde, and Pizzeria Uno, all in one day. Which one is that? White Horse Tavern? Or something else? Like... Astro Gallery. They used to be somewhere else, so I think they were like on 34th and Madison or something. And they were never happy when people took photos of their window stuff. I don't know why. I don't think they have any control over things taken from the streets, photo-wise. Yeah, it's like, sometimes I want to set it up that way where you can't rewind, but other times I don't because we lose the ability to, to like do an instant replay if something weird happened. And so I feel like that's worth more. That ugly skyscraper is still see-through, so I don't know how fast they're actually working on it. I don't know how much taller it's gonna be either, but there it is. Oh, the Jekyll and Hyde building hasn't even been taken over yet? All right, we're gonna have to walk by it. I thought it was closed for years, so I don't know. Like, I thought it closed pre-COVID. Was it actually still open? And the, uh, how did the owner use the COVID funds? I don't even know. Yeah, normally lag is caused by local issues, like when it, when it goes off live for a little bit. Normally. Listen to my traffic sounds, do da da do da. Listen to my traffic sounds, do da do da day. That's the NYPD going down the road. Ambrose is issued out by a new computer, a supercomputer. I see someone doing a vertical live potentially on TikTok. Anybody live right now on TikTok? Right around here. They're fueled by orange juice. Oh, there's a protest or something. Oh, I don't think it will. I think it's too. I think it's too disruptive. But they got their riot gear and everything. Live ships in Chinese, I believe. Yeah, they're causing a lot of traffic. They're trying to get them off the uh, off the street. Yeah, right now I thought it was close for a long time. I don't know why they're right there. They're being told to get on the sidewalk and not block traffic. Frank the Tank, are you actually seeing Billy Joel at MSG on Sunday? I mean, this is right near where I'm gonna end anyway, so 
I don't normally show protests and stuff, but because it's happening where we are, I guess we'll see. I think they're starting to move down towards the uh, going east. I mean, some of the police have like riot gear. There's like a very, very strong runner that just stood there. Gerard, yeah, I've been hearing that a lot recently, that uh, notifications have been not great. They have a drum. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Sometimes I feel like when protests are too disruptive, it can, it can have like the reverse effect on their cause, if that makes sense, right? Like if they're just annoying people, then yeah, but I guess exposure also counts for something. I don't know. Uh, I don't really have any opinion on it one way or another. That's why I'm apolitical. Dutch bike blogger, hello. Press pass flex, don't even have it on me. That's how good I am with the press pass. Oh, somebody already got arrested. It's probably just for show. Yeah, I think White Horse Tavern is like West Village area, right? So the, so the thing is, they're mostly on the sidewalk now, but now it's like the NYPD that's actually blocking traffic and things. So I, I don't know how to, I don't know how to interpret that either. Oh, it's in the West Village and covered in flowers. Nice. Oh, I hope that wasn't bird poop. Something next to me. Oh, we can actually see the moon up there. Hold on. Let's change perspective for a moment. Kind of like next to the Empire State Building. Is that, can, does that make it out on the on the screen? I don't know. Anyway, they're starting to move uh, move down, so hopefully traffic will start moving here soon. Isn't birds, uh, bird poop lucky? I don't know. <laughs> I don't feel very lucky when it hits me. Yeah, I hear them saying disperse or be placed under arrest, yes. Yeah, because there's, there's said you're unlawfully uh, disrupting pedestrian traffic. Also, I think they're saying, so there are a few things going on. Yeah, Mr. Mao hears it. Yeah, right, Roy? Not the kind of luck I want. They are arresting people and uh, the press, the press is getting in there, like getting those photos. coming in from both ends. Oh, 
Oh, there's an ambulance here. Uh oh. Uh, somebody might have gone too far. Somebody might have gone too far. Lucky bird poop alley. <laughs> they just say it's lucky so you don't feel as bad. All right, I'm gonna go where it's a little quieter, maybe down the block. And I'm getting hungry, I don't know. I ended up getting a bunch of Supermoon stuff for lunch. It was pretty good. I've created some distance. But now it's all, where I was standing is all blocked up by buses now anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. Yeah, no, there's like a, there's a bunch of blockades going on, I guess. I, I don't know. <laughs> Stuff's happening. There's a little extra noise, too. Anyway, the weather's nice. <laughs> In other news, the bus lanes are photo enforced. That's also something. What's the best food at Supermoon? Uh, their maratotso are very good. Uh, and they also sometimes have these weird like cruffins. I had a Ferrero Rocher cruffin and they do have some savory things like they have this like focaccia bread pizza And sometimes they have sandwiches. They had this Japanese curry Danish today. That was pretty good, too And they have a ham and cheese croissant. So they have a bunch of stuff and it's all pretty good Anyway Thanks everyone for joining our extra stream on Friday afternoon slash early evening. We definitely saw some things, you know. We got to see New York. You, you see all of New York. <laughs> Many of the things it can, it, can, it can offer or things that can happen here. They are slowly dispersing. I don't know why they chose that exact spot. I have no idea. But anyway. Yeah, Supermoon used to be a lot more uh, busy. It used to be like a line down the block. At first I thought it was because of COVID, but no, there's actually very little room in there for, for people. There's only like room for maybe seven people comfortably between the front door and like the register and the ordering area. So I don't, I don't really know. I know, that's for me to do, Noah. I gotta give him a ticket. Oh, we sw oh, we switched to Minecraft mode. And I'm using a different cable. Okay, so the cable doesn't matter either. Biggs and walk Sean. Biggs and walk Sean. Biggs and walk Sean. Biggs and walk... <laughs> I'm not even going to bother resetting it. I'm just going to let it play out on 8-bit mode. Enjoy 8-bit. Anyway... Yeah, I think so too, Biggs and Walk Show. I'm hoping that we have a new firmware to test soon. I should probably go back to the uh, Osmo Action 4 and see what the new firmware does there. Uh, they're just letting people off the bus now early if they want to get off. That's nice, because otherwise it's too blocked off. How do we do a whole stream this way? Yeah, I feel like I don't know what choice we have. I think we have to wait for it to happen, end the stream, and just restart it without doing anything else with the with the wires the turning things on and off the best part about this mode is it's pretty random i think that's one of the best features of it it's like a little surprise it's a treat a treat for the audience anyway yes thanks again everyone for joining always appreciate your support your time spent super chat super stickers paypal patreon membership thank you subscribers thank you not subscribers thank you too but if you're not and listening i see a press pass on, on his neck 
for the runner. Um, yeah, think about subscribing. <laughs> and of course, thanks for your help mods. You never thought you'd see a protest in 8-bit Minecraft mode, did you? Oh, they're throwing up the, the bird to the police. Okay. Anyway, still better graphics than your Commodore 64. You think your Commodore 64 is really neato? What kind of chip it got in there? Dorito. Huh? All right, all right. <laughs> uh, we're on 34th, like Madison 5th. Right by the Empire State Building. Oh, Minecraft Empire! Oh, I had to lean back for that one. Anyway, um, have a great rest of Friday, Saturday, Sunday, if I don't see you uh, until Monday. That's, you know, our next official stream. Toomey's having a photo shoot, it looks like. I see equipment in there. Uh, but yeah, thanks again, everyone. We'll see you when I, when I see you next.